Hey pirates, hey pirate, can you see me? I gotta talk to DJ Hook about audio editing in Canva. Well, if that is so, let me have a look for DJ Hook. As you can see DJ Hawk, we definitely got some people that are confused about audio editing in Canva. Could you please assist us in this sure. matter? Sure, I'm happy to assist. I only have 5 minutes though. I'm working on a very important mix. Check it out. <laughs> That certainly sounds dope, my man, I'm not gonna lie, but I see you're a busy man, DJ Hook. So let me take over here now, please, but later on we might consult you again for some expert advice, I. Okay guys, we now have a Canva video project in front of us. For the moment there is no sound at all. To add sound, simply click on audio in the left toolbar and then choose one of these tracks here. Whenever you see a crown symbol next to the track, that means that this track is only available in the Canva Pro version. For now, let's go with this Send Overboard track. To select it, simply left click on it and it will then be immediately added to your video project. What's interesting here is that Canva actually sets the duration of the audio track to the exact same length as the video. In my case the video here is 30 seconds long, so the audio track will also stop playing after 30 seconds. That obviously makes a whole lot of sense, but sometimes this can be confusing, because if we would like to use multiple videos for example, and let's say we set the video duration to like 5 seconds for example. What is gonna happen is that Canva will also reduce the audio length to 5 seconds here. And that's not necessarily what we want, because if we want to compile different video tracks, then we would usually still just like to have one audio track that will actually play for the whole duration, so over multiple video clips. So here on the audio track, you will see now that if you want to drag this to the right, it just doesn't work because our video clip is just 5 seconds long. However, to expand that now again, we can simply click here on this plus symbol to add a page. And every time we do that, another 5 seconds will be added to our project and this will be reflected in our audio as well. So even if we just have empty video placeholders, this will already be reflected in the length of our audio. Now, you can obviously also trim your audio and there are two ways to do that. You can either put your mouse cursor here over the start of your audio and then click and drag to the right to change the starting point of your audio or you can also change the ending point by hovering over the end of the track and then click and drag to the left. Another thing you can do when the audio track is selected is to click on adjust here on top and like this you can choose the actual portion that gets played of the audio track. So the position of where this audio is going to be played will not be affected by that, but by moving it left or right you can define which part of the audio will actually be played within these borders. Whenever you want to preview your audio you will need to make sure that the cursor is set accordingly. As our cursor now here is behind the audio track when I press play, there's absolutely no audio playing whatsoever. So I would need to make sure to take that cursor and put it here to the beginning of our audio and then press play again to actually hear some sound. <laughs> Let us add a couple more video clips to make this more interesting because now we just have this 5 second video clip and after that there's no video that goes with our audio. So I'm heading over here to video in the left sidebar. Once again I'm gonna search for pirate and I'm going to add a few more clips. For each video clip here, you can then easily change the duration here by, by hovering over the starting or ending point of the clip and adjusting it like that. So I'll make this shorter here as well, this one too, just a couple of seconds for each of these. And now I would obviously also want our audio to play for the whole duration of all of these clips, so I will left click and drag it to the left and then I hover over the ending point of the audio and drag that to the right to expand it to the very end of our video. Now don't forget you will have to take this cursor here and put it to the beginning of your clip whenever you would like to listen to it again. 
the beginning of the audio now sounds cut off and that is actually because I'm not playing it from the beginning. So remember, you can change that by clicking here on adjust on top. And then I would simply drag this to the right to make sure that the audio track here is playing from the very beginning. La 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 Man, DJ Hook, I actually thought you were a DJ, not a lousy singer. Come on, please. Now, as far as other audio editing options go, we also have the audio effects panel here. When you left click on that, you will see that you have fade in and fade out here in your audio effects. What this does is making sure that your audio, when you start playing it, fades in appropriately and when the track ends, it will fade out appropriately as well. Because without these fades, things can sound cut off. Especially if you don't want to start your audio track at the very beginning of the song and if you don't want to end it at the very end of the song. In these cases, you will always need a fade in and a fade out to make sure that things sound good. Now, let's suppose that I don't like the very beginning of the track here and I would only like it to start from here, but, but I would like to have that at the very beginning of our video. So once again, I would go here to uh, adjust and then left click and drag to the left and then make sure that the portion that I selected here will be the one that will start playing when the video begins. Now let us listen to that again. As you can hear this sounds rather weird and one of the main reasons for this is that we have not set any fade in. Now let us reset here the cursor to zero again, but then here under fade in in the audio effects we will put a 2. And what this does now, it will put a fade in time of 2 seconds and will apply it here to the very beginning of our track so that our audio track will smoothly fade in when we press play. And as you can clearly hear, this sounds much much better. And now as far as the fade out goes, we can go to the end of our track here. And then for the fade out, we will also set two seconds here. And now when we listen to that, you will hear that when we approach the very end of our song, it will smoothly fade out as well. And that's how fade ins and fade outs work in Canva. Now, what if you would like to have several audio tracks in your project? You can actually do that and the way you would do that is simply go back here to the audio tab and then just click on the next track that you would like to add to your project. And Canva will then automatically create space and add the second audio track to your project. Now when I press play, it will play both of these tracks at the same time. This obviously doesn't sound good and that is mainly because the volume for both of these tracks is set at the same level. You can easily adjust the volume level of each audio track by making sure it is selected and once it is selected here on the upper right side click on that speaker symbol and there with this little fader you can adjust the volume. So for our second audio track I'm going to put the volume to let's say uh, 10 instead of 100. Now I'll reset the cursor here to zero and now let us listen to it again. We can now barely hear our second audio track so I will go into the volume settings here again and let us set it to about maybe 25. Reset the cursor and press on play. It actually adds some depth to our audio and I will just leave it like that. But you can obviously play around a bit with the volume fader because every case is of course different. Now for the second audio track we can obviously also trim it just as we did with the first audio track. We can click here and adjust as well and, and choose the portion of the song that gets played at a certain location. And if we go to audio effects, we can apply fade ins and fade outs for this second track as well. Last but not least, I would also like to show you how you can copy and paste certain parts of your audio in Canva. In fact, it's very easy. You can simply click on it and with the trim function, you can choose the part of the song that you like. And once you're happy with the selection, make sure it is selected. Then press Command and C on your Mac or Control and C on your PC to copy the clip. 
and then press Command and V on your Mac or Control and V on your PC to paste it. And like that, you can easily multiply your selection. And every time you will paste it, Canva will actually put this on a separate audio track each time. However, whenever Canva notices that you don't want to play overlapping audio, it will then condense it again and will then remove unnecessary audio tracks. And that's actually already about it, about audio editing in Canva. So you gotta understand that audio editing is clearly in its infancy in Canva. There's really not that much that you can do at the moment, but I'm sure that Canva will expand on this in 2022, 2023 and beyond. But for now, there are obviously a lot of limitations as far as audio editing goes in Canva. So let us talk a little bit more about these limitations. Well, as I have explained before under audio effects, as far as the fade-ins and fade-outs go, you can set your fade-in time and fade-out time, but you gotta know that these fades that you're doing here, they will always be linear. So the volume of your audio track will either get louder in a linear way or will, will be reduced in a linear way. However, unfortunately in Canva, at the moment you can't get more granular than this. In other dedicated audio editing software, you can obviously go in there and make more granular changes to the way you are fading in and fading out audio. Also, please understand that the fade-ins and fade-outs here only work at the very beginning or the very ending of each of these audio clips. However, under certain circumstances, you might also want to apply fades in the middle of an audio clip. And that is yet another thing that can't be done in Canva at the moment. Also, as we have seen, you can actually put audio clips here on separate audio tracks. However, you don't have any control over these audio tracks here whatsoever. Now, another big thing that is missing as far as audio editing goes is really effects in general. Well, I'm really happy to see that they finally added this fade in and fade out effect. That's already good. But apart from that, there are no effects at all. So if you're looking for some effects like echo, reverb, delay, compression, all of these things are still completely missing in Canva. And as for now, at the moment, the only way to really make use of these kind of things for your Canva projects with audio would be to first download your project and then do these kind of edits in third-party software, for example, Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, and many others. But there are also a couple of free tools that you can use. There is one tool in specific that I would like to recommend and that is Audacity. It is a free audio software, but you can do a whole lot of things in there that you can't do in Canva. So this is definitely a great tool for you to download and to use in addition to Canva. You can download that software for free on audacityteam.org and it is actually available both for Windows and Mac. If you're serious about audio editing, you will quickly get to know that just using Canva probably won't be enough. So having another tool at your disposal, such as Audacity, is going to help you a great deal with your audio editing and won't cost you a dime. You can easily cut audio clips in Audacity. And in case you are doing voiceovers for your videos, then in Audacity, you can easily denoise your voice recordings, which means you can remove unnecessary noise, such as background noise from your audio clips, which obviously is awesome. And for many recordings, this is going to be a must because a good microphone will pick up a lot of stuff that you actually don't want to have in your recording. And even if your microphone is not good, denoising audio clips is super Super important and it's something that you will use over and over again. And with that said, dear friends, we are approaching the end of this video and at this point I would kindly like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and in case you do that, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. I told you everything I know about audio editing in Canva and now I think it is time for you to put all that into practice. I hope you have a good day. Thank you so so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.